Jack Price. So, Dr. Doreen, let's start with you. Thank you. What are your concerns with these cord blood treatments? My concerns are that there's a lot of uh, sort of anxiety and agitation and that comes to the child by going through these treatments. And of course that, as you saw, sometimes parents put all everything they have into these treatments, hope, money, um, and then the treatment fails. But Dr. Doreen, you actually have a problem with the studies themselves. That's right. I do, absolutely, Leslie. When, you know, this study was based on an earlier study that was done in 2017. And in that study, they found that, okay, so it might have some sort of impact on the social behavior of children who have a nonverbal IQ over 70. So when they did this study, their goal was to only have children whose nonverbal IQ was over 70. Now, unfortunately, uh, something went on with the way that they tested the children over distances. And in the end, it ended up that only 56% of the children who participated actually had an IQ, a nonverbal IQ over, over 70. So there's, there's issues with the study itself as well. Jack, some of this to me feels a little icky, right? And I know you have some ethical concerns as well. I agree with everything that's been said. Uh, what Dr. Doreen just said is absolutely correct. There are some issues with the trial. Um, I, I've only just learned this morning that uh, the Duke have actually turned the study into a pay to participate uh, effort. And that disappoints me enormously. I mean, up until that point, I thought Duke were at least a reputable organization that was doing the best for their patients. But to sell a, a, a therapy that's untested in this way, is, I, I think completely beyond the pale. Um, I, I agree with what Dr. Dorian said about uh, about the weak biology here. That's absolutely correct. And on top of that, there is almost no evidence that I know of, no reputable evidence anyway, that these stem cells could actually address uh, what the brain dis and an immune dysfunction is. I mean, we don't know what it is, so how could we know if the cells were going to address it? But I mean, these are blood stem cells. What they do is they make blood cells. There is no evidence that I know of uh, for a hematological, for a blood disorder in these autistic kids. That, that's not what's going on. So it, it really is wrong at every level. And then on top of that, uh, you know, we're not going to learn anything from it. We don't know why the studies fail. All we can do is what Duke are doing, just bang on doing another set of, uh, of patients. I mean, there are well over 100 patients now, even in the published trials. Um, so, you know, at what point are they going to say, look, we've got to go back and understand the biology of damn sight better than we do now before we bash on and start squirting cells into, into our patients? Jack, such strong, valid points. And all these points that Jack made, they right. have to be part right. of the informed consent. Like, we just don't know. Right. This may not work. Right. You're also dealing with children. And how do you do informed consent for children? How do you do informed <laughs> consent for children who right. aren't verbal? Exactly. I don't like the idea of selling false expectations to kids, right, and families who are really struggling, and families who, let's be very, very honest, everybody doesn't have 15 grand in the bank that they can just go take out and, and, you know, and move forward. You know, so you have to change some things. Life has to change in order for you to take a chance, but it's your child, so you're going to take that chance, right? Yep. And so it's, it's, it's such a catch-22. For sure. And when we come back, we'll hear what Duke has to say. Coming up, what happened when you contacted Duke and cry yourself? Then, for three months, Raquel was nonverbal. Her anxiety attacks were so bad that she couldn't leave the house. She would hurt herself. After murder, she started to speak. She started to have an emotional connection. That's coming up. All this captioning provided by... Need a cleanser that does more? New and improved Cetaphil cleansers are specially formulated with our dermatologist batch blend of ingredients to reinforce your skin's moisture barrier. Cetaphil, complete care for your sensitive skin. It's the 12 days of Chexmas with tips from John and Chrissy, exclusive recipes, and delicious holiday hacks. Unlock 12 surprises on every box. You never want to see your grandma doing a sexy way. Talk. Hey, baby. Dusty. 
Do sexy talk. Call his grandma. Write a poem. Hey, baby. Sexy, sexy. Find your smile on ACTV7. Attention, Medicare beneficiaries living in the greater Phoenix area. Now is the time to review your coverage and see how an AARP Medicare Advantage plan from United Healthcare can give you more for your Medicare dollar. Talk to United Healthcare today to learn about our wide choice of plans with a variety of benefits. These plans can combine your hospital and doctor coverage with Part D prescription drug coverage and more, all in one simple plan. If you live in Maricopa or Pinal County, this Medicare Advantage plan offers you visits to your primary care doctor for a $0 copay. There's more. Take advantage of benefits that go beyond original Medicare, like preventive dental care for a $0 copay, up to $1,500 for comprehensive dental services, a vision exam for a $0 copay, and $100 in credits for glasses or contacts. Plus, get up to $300 in credits to buy over-the-counter products delivered right to your door. Medicare annual enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. So give United Healthcare a call to learn more about your choice of plans and benefits and how you could get more for your Medicare dollar. For a $0 monthly premium, you'll get prescription drug coverage with home delivery, hearing aids as low as $175 each, a free gym membership with locations nationwide, and rides to or from your doctor or local pharmacy, plus virtual doctor visits for a $0 copay. As always, count on United Healthcare to help you get the care you need when you need it. Medicare annual enrollment ends soon. So call United Healthcare now to learn more. It's time to take advantage of all the great benefits of an AARP Medicare Advantage plan from United Healthcare. This pandemic's been difficult on all of us. For some families, it's been more devastating than others. If you're overwhelmed with debt, bankruptcy may be an option. Call Learn Road today and let's get you the relief you need now. We are back exposing a controversial autism treatment that uses stem cells from cord blood. Still with us is Dr. Doreen and Jack Price. So Jack, back to you. You also have issues with Duke's connection with cryocell. Uh, bottom line is that these stem cells are useful in a number of blood disorders. They are, they're used all the time. But there is no evidence that the broad range of, uh, of, of disorders that pe these companies are claiming that these cord blood cells can use for, there's virtually no evidence that that's true. So the number of disorders that they can be used for is very much more limited than these companies are claiming. And autism most certainly is not one of the disorders for which there's any reliable evidence that they have any efficacy at all. So, I mean, these, these patients, I mean, are being doubly, in my mind, doubly duped. Yeah, it's, it's a great point. You know, Doc, in med school, we used to call this the shotgun blast approach, right? We don't really know what's wrong, but we know this thing usually works for a lot of stuff. So why not try it? So let's try it. Now, Leslie, I'm very, very interested because you're really really good at this part. What happened when you contacted Duke and CryoCell? I asked both of them a number of questions, uh -huh. hard questions. I really wanted to know how the treatment they are proposing to offer and what Duke is already offering is different than, let's say, any stem cell clinic offering unproven treatments. And uh, CryoCell responded by saying in part, unproven stem cell clinics seek to operate outside the scope of FDA oversight. Mm -hmm. We, on the contrary, will be transparent and operate under the scope of the FDA. So next up, I asked Duke, you know, people, why do they have to pay for these experimental right. treatments that are still being reviewed in clinical trials? Mm -hmm. And Duke responded by saying that they charge for participation in expanded access program. It covers the cost of standard care required to screen and test the cord blood unit and the patient for eligibility, lab testing, administration, and follow-up. And finally, I think my favorite response that I received, which is so telling, uh -huh. is from Hyrocell. Mm -hmm. I basically asked them, I said, on their marketing materials, okay. they say this will revolutionize treatment outcomes. And I called them out on that. I revolutionize. Said, what does that even mean? And especially to a parent who's desperate, mm -hmm. if I hear revolutionize treatment right. outcomes, I want that treatment, right? And they responded by saying, we appreciate you pointing out this statement, which we also found to be confusing. 
It has been removed from our website. <laughs> Just one, one little wow. question, and it's gone. Right. It's gone. Right. Which is a good and thing. And that was a huge, huge marketing statement. Revolutionized. Revolutionized. Everything else you've tried right. so far, okay, it didn't work, but this is going to change your life, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, great work, Leslie. Thank yeah. you so much. Jack, Jack liked that one, too. <laughs> He's laughing at it. <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, this is so important. Leslie, thank you for all the investigation that you did, Home Run. Yeah. Thank and home Jack, run. thank you home for run. for chiming in and your pleasure. expertise. Uh, Doreen, yeah. doctor, we're going to ask you to stick around for the rest of the show. Can you do that? Yes, of course. Thank you. After the break, we're exposing another controversial autism treatment that one mom says transformed her daughter's life.